Have you ever created something, you love it, you try it on, and the biceps are way too tight on you and you can't even move your arm and you are just like bulging out of the bicep? Or maybe you've been wailing on those biceps and they're just bursting through your shirt. Sorry, I tore your shirt, Vincent. I don't know what happened. Well, I'm gonna show you how to fix the sleeve pattern so that way we can make just the bicep area bigger. We're gonna leave the sleeve cap the same and the bottom of the sleeve, but we are magically gonna make just this bicep area here bigger for you. A lot of times people think you need to adjust that sleeve cap to adjust the bicep. Well, you don't need to do that. And you also don't need to adjust the lower part of the sleeve. We can just adjust the bicep area. And you're probably wondering, how are we going to do that without adjusting those other areas? Well, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you. So if you sew up a sleeve and it is this tight on your arm, you have no ease in it. If you went to flex your arm, there's just no movement. You're just gonna get all of these pole lines in your bicep and that doesn't look good. So we don't want that. You want at least one to two inches of ease in your bicep so you can move around in it. You can flex your arm, you know, wash the floors, cook and clean, I'm just joking. Whatever it is you're going to be doing, you need to be able to move around in your sleeve. So we want to make sure we have at least one to two inches in here. We never want it this tight. So the first thing you need to do is measure your own bicep. Measure the biggest part of your arm. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you don't get the measuring tape too high up into your armpit because your arm usually does get smaller here. Come down about an inch and measure across your arm all the way around and get that number. Today I'm going to be using my sloper sleeve for demonstration. It measures 13 and three quarters in the bicep and I'm going to be adding two inches to it. This method is so cool because it does not change the measurement number of the sleeve cap. So get ready to be wowed. The first thing I'm going to do is fold my sleeve in half so that way I get my center line. There we go. And now I'm going to draw a line from bicep to bicep. So right across there. I'm also going to draw in my center line. So it's nice and easy to see. Excellent. After we do that, we are going to cut across the bicep line. So we're fully cutting it apart. We're also going to cut down to the wrist. Excellent. We're also gonna cut up to the sleeve cap. So make sure you're going from the bicep line to the sleeve cap. Okay. So now you can see I've got this all cut apart. So what we wanna do is add two inches here to the bicep. So I'm going to tape down my paper. I'm gonna tape down my pink sleeve. On one side, I'm going to measure over two inches and bring my other sleeve piece to that mark and tape it down. Okay, so remember this was our bicep line. And now what's really important to do is make sure that where we cut across on the bicep line, you're also gonna open up the top of the sleeve because we wanna open up that bicep we wanna make sure that these two spots here connect. If they are lower, you're gonna get a smaller sleeve cap and our sleeve cap was good. So we do not wanna change our sleeve cap. So that's gonna be the height here from the bicep to the tip of your shoulder. So we're gonna go ahead and tape this down. So now you can really see where we've opened up. We've gradually went down to the bicep and now we have opened up in this area here and we got to release somewhere so it's releasing out to the side but we have not touched the top of the sleeve cap here so now by opening up here yes this has made our sleeve that much longer so let's measure that and it has made our sleeve about an inch and a half longer so now what we're going to want to do is take an inch and a half off the bottom of the sleeve so i always like to just measure out an inch and a half off the bottom of the sleeve. So there's an inch and then there's a half. 
So I have taken up an inch and a half from the bottom, but we still want to keep the same width at the bottom, the same opening circumference. So let's go ahead and measure the opening circumference of the sleeve. And if I measured this, we are going to get about nine and an eighth. So now we know that we need the opening to be nine and an eighth. And if I measure this line right here, we've got 10 and a half. So we need to take away a little bit from the opening so that way the opening of the sleeve here doesn't get too big. So my difference between these two is one and three eighths. And we want that to come off of both sides evenly. That's gonna be right there. Excellent. So now we are going to blend from the underarm here down to that new point. I just need a little bit more paper here. So now on our pattern, what we wanna do is connect these two points where they come out. You're gonna notice you're gonna get a bit of a sharp point here, depending on how big you made your bicep. Let's go ahead and just blend that. We want that to be nice and smooth. And it's okay if this is a little bit round up here for adding to the bicep. We are round. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. And now we are going to blend from that point here where we stop rounding out to the wrist. Excellent. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side here. But when we do this side, we gotta fold up our darts. So let's cut out the top of this and cut out our sleeve. You're also gonna notice at the top of the sleeve when you pivot, it might start to indent inwards. You wanna go ahead and straighten that out. We do not want any indents here at the top of the sleeve. We still want this to be nice and smooth up here. Okay, so now let's cut off the bottom. Let's fold up our darts, tape that all together. If you have a sleeve with no elbow darts, it'll be much easier for you. Okay, so now I know where I want to take off that down there. So let's blend this to the dart. There we go. And now we can cut off. There we go. And now we are going to open back up our darts. And now we have our new sleeve pattern. And you can really see where we added, where we have all this extra white paper. And now we're going to check it against that original sloper sleeve so you can really see where the alterations happened and how it is going to fit back into that armhole the same way but we've got a bigger bicep. So my sloper pattern has definitely seen better days, but we can use it to measure against. So if we place it on top, what we are gonna do is walk the armhole. So we're gonna start at this side and we can walk it right along the new one that we just made. And look at that, they match. They have the same number amount on the top of the sleeve here. So the number going from here so here is the same on our new one. That means it's gonna fit right back into that armhole that you have, but we have made it wider in here. So check out how much wider we have made it when we lay the original on it. Check that out. So we have got that extra two inches in there. And we've got the same length on the top of the sleeve, so you don't need to alter your bodice pattern at all to make sure this fits back in. Now your sleeve, your, now your bicep is actually gonna fit in your sleeve. What? awesome. Wasn't that easy? Once you get into pattern drafting, just understanding what you're doing and taking it step by step, it's really not that hard. So I hope you give this pattern alteration a go. Thanks so much for watching Sewing in a Stage today. I hope you enjoyed learning how to increase your bicep on your sleeve. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause and let me know what pattern drafting video or any video you want to see next down below in the comments. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. These videos are for you guys. 
And if you don't follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn, all the ways that we can stay connected, make sure you follow so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you're in Chicago, come on into the design studio and take a sewing class with me, or you can take some virtually. So check those out at sewingastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.